we're back again. Yes, we're back again. Another segment of my series titled Super Predators. A while back, I I was coming across these stories with young women, teachers um, specifically, getting caught up with these underage boys and their own students. Here we have another story. Again, just take a look at my channel and others and look at look at how many stories have come out with with the women being the predator versus the men. Because we know if it was men doing this, oh, they'll be plastered all over the Internet. We know this. But I am an equal opportunity channel, if you will. I do not. Again, it's coming from a man's perspective, but we're going to hold both men and women accountable. Even with most importantly, we're going to hold ourselves accountable because the work begins in the mirror. But here you have a, another woman, Gabriella Cartea Newfield in South Carolina, South Mech, wherever that is in South Carolina, was caught sleeping with the child by the child's by the boy's mother. And she stated the he was supposed to be a rugby practice. So I try to get the demographics. I'm not sure if this is a white male student or a, a black male student or other. But I do like to get that um, detail because it tells a story. Nonetheless, you have a lot of female teachers and just women in general who are evolving into the very men they say they hate. If you notice the, the behavior patterns, because, again, learning is 80 percent observation. Look at the stories in which these women are being caught up in violence, sexual acts with uh, minors, taking advantage, turning a blind eye to your daughter when the pookie or the quintessential hood boyfriend or stepdad tries to come in. And then he sees the daughter as a more appetizing uh, situation for him and the mother ignores this once the daughter brings it to her why do you have the situation at hand which is the dating dilemma the, there are no good men you mean to tell me these teachers because she looks pretty she looks okay I'm not sure what ethnicity she is but I'm sure she's not Caucasian or black however she could be both but why are so many young boys getting access to the women that should be in the dating pool for men 25 and up? Just, just think about this. Why are so many women being caught red handed sleeping with these young boys? It is because when you have a privilege, you start to begin that you, you begin to think that you're immune to consequence. When you get preferential treatment your entire life, you start you start to get entitlement to certain desires that you have. And a lot of these desires are physical for the woman. They're not spiritual. They're not mental. They are physical only. They're physical. Women do not have self-control. Again, there's been a lot of narratives painted, a lot of misinformation put out. Women mature faster, this, that, and the third. Women are more educated. That is a lie. It's propaganda. And it has been fueled and used in all of the movements in which you find your local celebrity or your mainstream celebrities wrapped up in. So with this story, it's going to fly under the radar. These you notice these stories don't get a lot of the national headline news. You have to go and search and look for these. Or you just come across it from other independent media outlets. But why don't these stories make it mainstream is to show these teachers taking advantage of these young boys? Because once you're in a position of uh, uh, being in a what's the word I want to say? A, an authoritative state you have authority over a person or a child then you tend to think you can do things and get away with them you tend to think you can say things or you can you know you you have a different level of access so it, it becomes about control 
It is not about the connection because how can an 18-year-old rugby high school player relate to a 26-year-old uh, racially ambiguous woman in America, in South Carolina, knowing more than likely she's not from there? How can they relate? So it is a physical pleasure, and that's a physical pleasure only. Women are now being ruled by their desires because that independent state, it leads you to a path to where you have to self-medicate. Today is day one, gentlemen, of a 75 hard. That's no fried foods. That's no desserts. That is no alcohol, no cannabis. And you have to do this for 75 days, all while working out every day without missing a day. I don't care if it's a light workout, whatever. You don't miss a day. This is our biggest feast yet. I don't want to call it a fast. This is a feast because we're going to eat. Self-discipline and self-mastery is the key and is a never-ending. Do not be ruled by your lust or you'll be on the front page of the one of these articles because you think you can take advantage of a position of power. The women are evolving into the men they say they hate the most because you have men in these same positions that do take advantage of their position of power when it comes to little girls and little boys. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Chris Hansen's Dateline, How to Catch a Predator. But these are real experiences. And these experiences leave these children traumatized. I don't know if you're aware of that. So when you see the older people acting out of dysfunction, there is some type of trauma tied to that dysfunction. But how are so many teachers? These are the teachers that are getting caught. How many are not getting caught? How many have not been exposed as a predator is it because of the choice of the boy or the young man they chose to entertain or they just haven't got let me let me rephrase that they haven't got caught yet these stories come out almost every week that i can't even do all of them that i see and people try to take the sting off because it is a boy well, what does what happens to that boy that gets access to a teacher or a woman that's in power? What does that do with his experiences across the board when it comes to girls of his age? So now he's he's hyped up. It's kind of like a a person going into a billionaire status lifestyle and then telling them for let's say years and years or whatever. And telling them to come back to the hood. Come back to the slums. It's going to be a hard detachment. From that lifestyle in which they got accustomed to. Or, into, uh, or from that experience that they cannot forget. That will be forever embedded in their mind. We, we're going to see this more and more again. You're going to see the young boys. And then you're going to see the undesired. They're going to be eating up. Women are going to pick me and they're going to have I just again, I told you I'm on this dating app, right? So I got on here this morning checking some notifications and I saw a chick, big burly black chick stated she had a boyfriend, but she's looking for friends to kick it with and a possible friends with benefits. So in some cases, her boyfriend doesn't know she has a hinge profile or secondly, he's just a cuck who doesn't give a damn as long as he can get some. He don't mind sharing. So this is the level of entitlement you will see on these dating. This chick is big, black, and burly thinking she has a boyfriend, but she wants more. The insatiable, insatiable sexual appetite of the woman is off the charts. It doesn't get any freakier. It doesn't get any more hornier than your American woman, your Western woman. Not black, white or other. The Western woman that has been conditioned by this hypersexual society, the hypersexual propaganda, the gender neutral uh, neutralism that's going on. That you can do what you want and you can do this and everything is OK. Meanwhile, these are the same women that are your 
child's teacher. Your te just your boy's teacher who's looking at him in a sexual way, looking to turn him out. Because once he gets exposed to a certain level of sex, a certain level of women, he's not going to go back to the regular. He's not going to be dealing with the 17 year old chick that's sitting, uh, sitting across from him. And if he is going to deal with her, it is going to be 100 percent from a position of power, seeing that he just had a 26 year old woman. We have a lot of sexual predators in the community, men and women. But from the looks of it, women are leading the pack. Women are leading the pack when it comes to sexual uh being a sexual predator on these young boys and again this won't make media mainstream headline because this is going to paint a narrative and it's going to open up pandora's box to look into other things that women may be doing on the low and a lot of these some of these women that have been caught are married women that is the kicker they cannot be satisfied for too long in a hyper sexual market See, we'll get to the, the breakdown of the psychology because what it does, what our market and what our society does is say, well, if this one, if this doesn't work out, that means you're inadequate. If this relationship works, doesn't work out, you're inadequate. If it does work out, you're perfect. But in reality, a lot of the faults and the situations that come to an abrupt stop is simply due to option overload. And access to an abundant amount of options to where no wrong option is the wrong one. So I cannot really take or value this one when I see so many other potential relationships that I can get the same outcome. You see. So during this time of feasting and fasting, you need to take some time away from social media because I noticed it was starting to program my thinking. It had an effect on my thinking and my entertainment interest versus looking into real stories such as this one now we're going to see what well, we won't see in a few years how this boy evolves or responds to this situation it's another tale of the super predators gentlemen and i'm going to keep doing these as they come out because they'll continue to come out but what we want to do is speak with the parents and the child to see what the ramifications were or are. You see, we need to get to the bottom of this. Or your child would be the next victim. Your child would be the next uh, ring about. But you guys, let me know what you think about this situation, this subject. Gabriella Newfield, Cartel Youth Newfield, caught having sex in the act by the mother of the child. You guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell it's the date master